So faced with the uncertainty of digital and analog instruments, the uncertainty is actually different. Believe it or not, the analog instrument is less uncertain. The one with the dial actually gives a better reading. You can see the second hand on the analog clock. I know that I'm actually halfway between 55 and 56, so I'm less uncertain than I am if I looked at the digital clock, which just says 55. I've no idea how close I am to 56. So the uncertainty should reflect that. If it's digital, the uncertainty is plus or minus the smallest division, the smallest number that can be shown, which would be one second for the digital case. And for analog, it's plus or minus the smallest division divided by two. Since the uncertainty is less with analog, I can make a much better judgment as to how close I am to the next uh, increment. This digital balance has the smallest reading possible of 0.1 grams, so the uncertainty is plus or minus 0.1 grams. This has an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.001 grams. This digital balance in kilograms can measure 0.1 kilograms as the smallest amount, so that's the uncertainty. And this is 23.6, plus or minus the smallest division, 0.1 degrees C. This one here has a thousandth of a gram, 0 0.001 grams uncertainty, since it's digital. Now onto analog, each division is one milliamp, so the smallest division divided by two, that's 0.5 milliamps, is the uncertainty. This ruler's in millimeters, and the smallest division divided by two gives me 0.5 millimeters uncertainty. This thermometer, well, it looks to me like it's about 23.8. I'm unsure about the 0.8. That's my last figure that I'm unsure about. But the uncertainty is plus or minus 0.5 degrees C. This measuring cylinder is 125 milliliters. The smallest division is 5 milliliters. Divide that by 2 because it's analog. So it should be plus or minus 2.5. But I'm going to round that to 3 because uh, you only need one sig fig when you're doing uncertainties. And in this protractor, I'm looking at 135.6, not at 0.6 I'm unsure about, so that's my last digit I'm going to give. 